Chapter Twenty One of Angel Food Little Talks to Little Folks by Reverend Jared T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Keep the Rolls. Keep the Rolls. We hear those words so often. Three little words, but they mean so much. There are rolls for driving an automobile. There are rolls when you go to camp. Rolls in school. Rules at home. Why, it seems as though everybody has rules. Do you know that even God has rules? Yes, he has. God has ten rules. We call God's rules the Ten Commandments. God made up his rules, his Ten Commandments, and gave them to a very holy man named Moses. God wrote those commandments on stone so that we would not forget them. And it's pretty hard to keep those commandments, isn't it? We have a terrible time trying to keep the commandments, don't we? The commandments cause us so much trouble and so much worry. Every time we break a commandment, we commit a sin. Maybe you wonder why God made ten commandments. One commandment is hard enough to keep, but, my goodness, we have ten commandments, and that makes it ten times harder for us to be good. Well, I am going to tell you why God made the commandments, and also why God made ten of them. Did you ever see anybody buy a watch? Well, if you went downtown and bought a watch, the man in the store would give you a list of directions or rules. These directions or rules would tell you how to take care of your watch and how to use it, so it would not break. If you don't follow the directions, if you fail to take care of your watch, it will become full of dust or dirt and will soon stop. If you wind your watch too tightly, it will break. You must follow the directions or rules which the watchmaker gives you. The watchmaker made your watch. He knows how you should use it. He knows the rules for using a watch. The same way, if you were rich enough to buy a nice automobile, the man in the automobile store would give you a big book of rules. This book of rules would tell you how to make your automobile go. The book of rules would tell you how to take care of your automobile so it would not break down. If you would break the rules, then, you would also break your automobile. Now, boys and girls, you know we are machines, just like the watch in the automobile. Only we are very, very special machines. We are the best machines in the world, because we are made by God himself. God thought us all up by himself. He made us. God invented us. God knows how we are put together. Just as the watchmaker knows best how a watch should run, so also God knows best how we should run. God knows the rules we should follow to be happy. God knows the rules we should follow to keep from breaking down. Just as the man who sells us the watch or automobile gives us a list of directions or a book of rules, so also when God makes us and sends us into the world, he gives us a set of rules. These rules tell us how we should live, if we want to be happy. You and I call these rules the Ten Commandments. You know, God was afraid that we might lose these important rules. So what did he do? God put our rules in a place where we could never lose them. He put them inside of us. God wrote the Ten Commandments away inside our hearts. That's why we feel bad away inside ourselves every time we break the commandments. Now you see, boys and girls, why God made the Ten Commandments. He made them to show us how to live and be happy. If you break the rules for running an automobile, the automobile breaks down. If you break the commandments, you break down too. If you follow the rules for the automobile, it always goes swell. You keep your rules, the Ten Commandments, and you will go swell. The Ten Commandments are all right, after all, aren't they? End of chapter 21